This week has been a whole <laughs> lot better. It feels a little chilly out there. The wind has picked up. I can tell you my hair was blowing around out there. It does feel a little chilly now that the wind is in play, but temperatures still well above average for this time of the year. And you know what? When you're talking about a little chilly on this uh, date, late December, that's not too bad. You're doing pretty good on December 19th. Let's take a look outside right now. I'll take you up to Bethlehem where folks are out walking around doing some of that last minute Christmas shopping. Got good stuff there along Main Street as we look live from the Hotel Bethlehem. Also there on the south side, they've got the Chris Kendall Mart. We were there last week, of course, for Holiday Fest. We'll be headed to Bucks County this week. All around the area, everyone in the holiday spirit and the weather, well, it feels more like Halloween time than it does Christmas time. Storm Scan 3 showing a front moving in. You can see a few light showers up here across New York State. Most of those will fizzle before this gets here. At most, a stray sprinkle, but I think most of us are dry with this front moving through. But that is going to knock down the temperature. We're back to reality tomorrow with temps headed a little closer to where they should be. You can see this little bubble of cooler air, the blues and the purples. But watch what happens as we head into the end of the week. Temps rise once again as the system approaches from the west. So heading into your Friday and Saturday, temperatures rise as our next system moves through. So when you kind of see the cold and mild air pitted against each other like that can pretty much determine that there's a system. There's a storm right about here, cold front here, and it this will unleash upon us as we head into next week. It is going to get colder just in time for Christmas Day because as much as I love temps above average, you don't want it to be warm, too warm on Christmas Day. It should at least be a little chilly, and it looks like it will be. Winter officially begins on Thursday. That's the 21st of December. 1128 a.m. is the time of that winter solstice. That means it's the darkest day of the year, shortest daylight, nine hours in 20 minutes, but then we start climbing again by Friday. So we've got a couple of systems to watch as we head into your holiday weekend. We'll start here on Friday. Most of the showers here Friday are off to the north. So if your travels take you perhaps up to New England, up to Boston, perhaps a few slowdowns here on Friday. Saturday is the day I think things get a little dicey for us. It'll be a very warm day, but it's also going to be wet. We've got rain, especially in the morning, showers in the afternoon, then that clears out. Now moisture here along the coast as we head into Christmas Day. It all depends on the setup, but there could be a few flakes, a few light flurries or snow showers, possibly a rain shower, depending on just how cold it will be. Doesn't look like a big deal, but a few picturesque flurries on Christmas Day wouldn't be so bad. A rainy start to the weekend, 47 Christmas Eve. Should be dry for travelers Christmas Eve on Sunday. Christmas Day, maybe a few flakes. Temperatures are seasonable at about 44 for the high. Overnight, mainly clear, not too cold. 37 is your low. Tomorrow, much cooler than today, but a seasonable December day. Mostly sunny for your Wednesday. Thursday looks pretty good, chilly, but again, 42 is right about where we should be for December. We climb back up on Saturday, but rain with that 61 degrees. Sunday is windy and cooler, and then the chance for a little rain or perhaps a few flakes on Christmas Day. I'll tell you, after Christmas, it's going to get much colder. So everyone that's hoping wow. for cold for Christmas, you'll get your wish. Just wait.